Hey, welcome to Team Hotel TV Week 8 Predictions. I'm going to introduce my panel real quick. Chris Law, Leo Mota, and Buddy Martinez. And they're going to roll through the first game, which is 11 of 30 game. We're going to have two 11 30 games. And this game is going to be the Panthers versus the Jets. Some playoff implications. Yeah, this. This, this is going to be Super Saturday as we have eight games rather than six. And so it's going to be something we've never had in the, in the history of, of Timoteo. Um, but uh, here are the Panthers and Jets. We already previewed this a, a week ago, but this game becomes huge. Um, the Panthers and the Jets both need this game. And I think the loser of this game, even though they can mathematically still get in if some miracles happen, there's a good chance uh, if the Jets lose this one, they'll be done because of tiebreakers. The Panthers, if they lose this one, they'll have a chance because they're playing a doubleheader against the Colts, so they can actually uh, beat the Colts and they would get in still. Uh, but this is a huge one. I think uh, one of the things I want to do today is also I want to uh, say this, is, this could be the last game for several people in the league. Uh, and so I want to shout out to all the, uh, the seniors and the people in the last year. The Panthers, that's Josh, Miles, Nair, and Dennis. Jets, it's Nolan, Jonathan, and David. Thank you guys for being in the league. We appreciate you guys. Keep going and do great things. I have the Panthers squeaking this one out 26-25. 26-25. Uh, back to differ. I'm going to go the other way. I think that the Jets need to um, get into the playoffs, especially the way they started the season off. I think it was like, what, 2-0 and or 3-0? Yeah, and, and then, you know, I think they kind of slept on a few teams there, you know, and they got ahead of themselves. So I think they did learn from their um, loss on Saturday against the Lions. You know, it was a close game. It could have went either way, you know, but the Lions took advantage of what the Jets gave them. And, um, they were able to pull it off. So I think the Jets are going to rebound. They're going to come back, and they're going to beat the Panthers 33-12. to 12. Yeah, I mean, uh, from the Panthers, they really turned their season around. I thought really early on that they were not going to be able to compete uh, for a playoff spot, and now uh, they've turned it around. I think Brian has been playing solid at quarterback. Uh, and the team is kind of really around, kind of repositioning players and putting them in uh, in better positions. On the Jets' side, it looked like a little collapse over there. Um, but... The way I'm kind of looking at it is when you look at it, who do you think who do you think has the better quarterback? The Jets probably, right? Mm -hmm. You got Brian over there on the uh, on the um, on the Panthers, but the only problem with Brian is his brother was never able to win a big game neither. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they had that in their blood or what. I don't know if Brian has what it takes to kind of pull this off. <laughs> I know uh, Josh and the team over there and Ant they are desperate to win this game, uh, and and I think. You know, they've they, they beaten good teams this year, uh, so I think they're going to pull this game off. And I got the Jets winning this one 28-13. Uh, to 13. Mm. Wow. wow. You know, I just want to let the people know that, you know, there's a lot of consideration for Rookie of the Year. I would not vote for a kid, Rookie of the Year, if he's constantly crying and fighting with his with the sideline and his quarterback mm -hmm. and getting down on himself. I seen a kid on Saturday, you know, with a quarterback threw him the ball in zone coverage, and he didn't run to the ball in the zone coverage, and, and the ball was a pretty good ball where he would have ran, he could have caught it. He expected the ball to come to him. Mm -hmm. He's one of the candidates for um, Rookie of the Year, and he came back yelling at his quarterback, calling all sorts of names, telling him that he needs to throw a perfect ball, mm -hmm. that it was his fault. And at every next play, they got a first down for like about 15 yards because he was too busy arguing with, Who you with his quarterback. About? Jeremiah? No. Yasir? Uh, Jeremiah might be Rookie <laughs> of the Year. Next Yasir? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. That says a lot about a player's mm -hmm. character when he Harris. does that. All right, so let's go right into that next game, which is a game of the week yeah. where we got the Pac-9 versus the Cowboys. Yeah, this is a game we've all been looking for. We had to wait an extra week. It uh, looks like both teams should be at full force. Uh, I think, you know, the, the winner of this game will be in first place. Uh, if the Packers lose, they'll slide down to third. Uh, Cowboys lose, they'll be in second. Um, I think, uh, again, this could be a toss-up. I, I, I don't know either team what they're going to look like at 11.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to have the pack kind of squeezing this now, 25-24. I think it could be a toss-up. Uh, either team could win this. And I'm going to have a guest come up, and he's going to do my prediction for me. Mikey, can you come up? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the show, Mikey. Why did you bring us? Hey, Hawk. How are you doing? Uh, Future Hall of Famer right now. Theme right here on your sweaters. So, yeah, watch it, Mike. so uh, Mike, what you think about this 11:30 um, <laughs> game early in the morning? Due to the weather, we had to push the game back. Who do you got in this? Um, me too. Uh, I mean, I got I got the Cowboys winning 30 Get zero. A I think uh, I think we're gonna see the Packers blow up again. We're gonna see Shane quit for the second time. Your buddy gonna call his mom. Yeah, buddy gonna call. Uh, what's her name? Tracy. 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 Tracy <laughs> getting back on the field. And we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see Poopy and Matt argue again. I think they're just going to fall apart against the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys got too much talent for them. Mm. And I think Leroy just 
playing uh, too good for them. You sweating? Yeah, who's the better quarterback? quarterback? You or Leroy? Yeah. Who's the better quarterback? You or Leroy? Shane. What? Shane wasn't even in the conversation. Shane is a better quarterback than all them both of them together. Um, <laughs> all right. Never never won. Won. Mikey's ad never won neither anything. Um, so let's go right to Buddy. Come on, Buddy. Right. So in this game, I think you might have saw last week's prediction. At that point, I think I'd have picked the Cowboys to win. But now with this extra time, I know the Cowboys don't put any work at practice. Uh, Dave has been working really hard. Uh, I think he's you mastered. And Dave? No, no, not me and Dave. I was working with Dave last week, but then I had all this extra time, so Dave yeah, got all on his own. Recording my practice and without notice, and it just drove off. A couple weeks ago, Belichick moved. Yo, yeah, mm. yo, he mm. was saying there. The kids were like, "Oh, look at Pastor Mike, can he pick us up?" And I'm like, "That's that not was, Pastor Mike Van. They don't say new beginning." That was all for best. That was all for best attendance, bro. I was just showing that you just, were actually. Um, <laughs> yo, Belichick <laughs> over there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they got some good players over there, man. And and Syph has been talking all this trash, talking about how you're gonna shut Jeremy down or whichever best receiver they got. I know he said Ryan scored three touchdowns nah. on. Saif ain't say that? Saif said that. definitely said that. Yeah, yeah, with his 3.8 GPA, uh, he definitely said that. He was talking all this trash, talking about he's going to shut down whoever he sticks. Leroy, I was talking to Leroy because Leroy's on our team in another league, he's and he was saying that uh, that he's definitely the best quarterback in the league. Leroy and never he's said that. He definitely Too much time. That. Too much time. Can you all right, I'm going to go, go, go with my score good. this week. Look, this is going to be the game you guys have been wanting. Wake up. Come to the game. Be there at 1130. It's going to be always cracked up to be. It's going to be a close game. 33-31. Pat Murray. Nice, nice. Who nice. calls that extra point play? Kashin. You call it? No, no, no. no. Kashin's going to catch it. We're going to go right into We're going to jump right into the, to two 1 o'clock games where we got the Ravens versus the Seahawks. Yeah, this game is uh, it's not going to be close. I, I think the Ravens is to their last chance to get a win. Uh, I don't think uh, they're going to get it. Uh, the, the Seahawks are on a different planet. They're, they're incredible this year. I think they have a legitimate chance to win it all. Uh, we will break it down next week in our playoff edition, how, how close they can make it. Uh, but for right now, I want to say with the Ravens, Sharif and Jeffrey, this is your last season. Actually, Jeffrey could come in under the Sharif rule uh, if he goes to a locker room next year. Uh, with Seahawks and Saheed and Kyrie uh, are their last year. So thank you, you help guys. Help him out with his brother name, bro? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> for uh, for making Kyrie. it to the league. Kyrie. Kyrie. <clears throat> and, uh, you know. Sharif. Okay. <laughs> What's the score? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I have I have a uh, Seahawks fifty two six. Yeah, I mean Mikey is. Um, Hold on, real quick. That's disrespectful, man. Fifty. <laughs> what you saying? Fifty two six. The Seahawks listen, are on listen, another listen, planet listen, right listen, now. Listen. They still mad. Y'all beat them last year. Knocked them out of that first seed. Look, they spoilers. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you talking when you say they, they you're gonna be talking about the Panthers. You got to look this way. No, no, that's what I meant. They, right. they still mad. They, they still mad. You right. and them, they're still mad. Uh, and uh, so, so in this game, I just want—I'm sorry, I know, cut you off. You can finish off the segment. But the Ravens is going to come to play. This is Sharif' last game. He's going to come to ball. You see what the Seahawks did last week in that first half mm -hmm. against the the, the yeah. Bengals. They're not focused. They're not ready. Mm -hmm. Best quarterback in the league scored six points. But even though the Bengals defense has gotten he better, camera on his head. He don't know how to act. They don't know how to act over there. So, so my thing—I think they played at a level of competition. So Ravens. I'm going with the Ravens. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the Ravens, bro. Ooh. I'm going with the Ravens. They're not going to finish out with no W. They're going to get this win. This is going to be their championship for the year. Oh, man, Mikey going to come out, ball out, probably throw four or five touchdowns. If Leroy throws five, Mikey throws oh, four. If, Leroy, if he throws five, Leroy throws six. But he's going to come out and end up being second place in passing touchdowns. But the Seahawks are going to win this one 45 to 0. And Mikey, what do you want to say? 45 0. I'm going to finish the season first in passing touchdowns this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just. I ain't even worried about this death. I'm just. Is that why you tell way? you guys yeah. not to uh, run into? Yeah. Not to, not to take it to the crib <laughs> yeah. so that you can get that extra touchdown. Yeah. Hey, if you get there, the drop at the one yard line. <laughs> that it. Oh man. All right. Tashima, 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 so let's go into that second. Well, most of his one, one o'clock. Most of his touchdowns is pitches to Tashim anyway. I don't know how to show. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So we go to the second one o'clock game where the Panthers are playing a back to back game against the Colts. Playoff implications. Yeah, this will be well. the first back-to-back -back game we've ever seen, so we have no idea what that's going to do. If they win against the Jets, it could give them the fuel and the fire they need to go into beat the, the Colts. If they lose, maybe it gives them motivation to go beat the Colts. I have no idea. Or it could defeat them totally and they just roll over and die for the Colts. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. I'm not really sure where the heart is for the Panthers. Yeah. I'm not to be honest like I don't know if they have the fire inside everything lies on this week They could be in fourth place or they could be out of the tournament 
this week. And so I, I just I don't know how much, you know, they're not always coming to practice and stuff like that. So I think the Colts may win this one, 32-19. Uh, Colts, uh, Ren and Jose, this is your last season. Could uh, It won't be your last game because you make the playoffs no matter what. Uh, thank you for being in the league. That's Jose last season? Yeah, Jose's last season. He got one more. He got one more. No. Jose, he got one more. Age, he's age out. He's a little great. No, no, he's, I spoke uh, with his coach earlier at the huddle, and he said all his kids are coming back. Mm. Oh, he left. I, I got, I got it all. I got it all. record. All right. Um, yeah, I think the coach are gonna win. It's gonna be a sad day for the um, Panthers. They're gonna lose two games in a row. Mm. You know, like Chris was saying, they're not coming to practice. So if you're not coming to practice and you guys lose to the Jets, it's gonna be impossible for you to come and be a talented team with the coach, especially since the coach suffer uh, a huge loss. The uh, uh, Forget it's like three weeks now. You guys threw us off with this schedule, the but um, the they Packers lost against the Ridge. Packers and they didn't even score. So you know, I know they have something to prove. They're going to try to come out and run the scoreboard up since the fact that they've been shut out and they ain't scored no points against the Packers. So the Colts are going to come out and win this one, twenty-eight to six. What? Yeah, I mean the Colts. They got a game. I think guess they're, they're, they're you know their their seeding could be uh, definitely a role in this game because uh, they're playing the Raiders uh, on Tuesday. Uh, and um, that game could kind of sway um, the way their season goes. If they come out and beat the Raiders, I think they come out with full confidence and they could absolutely, absolutely blow out the uh, the Panthers. Uh, they've been on a slump, though. I mean, Eskey's been quiet, I think, the past two weeks. He was um, – in the running for MVP, he was definitely one of the strong MVP candidates early in the year. I still think he has a chance at the interception record. Uh, with two games left, he needs to. Not I think the average. Record. No, not the touchdown record. Probably not. Uh, but uh, but the interception, I think he needs maybe like six or something like that to tie or something. Could happen, I guess. Um, but uh, I just think that the Colts are a much better team than the Panthers at this point right now. But then again. The Panthers have been on the streak too, so I guess we're gonna see. I, I, but I think the Colts bounce back. They need uh, to. They yeah. can drop all the way to like the seventh of AFC. Yeah, I think they bounce yeah. back, and I think they win a close game here. I think this score would probably be 28-27, uh, close oh, game. But I got the Colts winning this one. Clean sweep. What do you say? Uh, here, man. Uh, yeah, I got the Colts winning. I think. I think Hose and Eski and, and, and Nambi will right come out. And, Frankfurt, uh, that Frankfurt stuff. Huh? Yeah, Frankfurt. For real. For life, for life. Yeah. Uh, them pioneers, boy. Yeah, them right. pioneers are going to come out snapping. They, they're not going go, to go finish the season on no two snapping hours. Snapping like which way? Like that? They're going to come out playing hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this first half of Week 8 selections. Stay tuned for the next uh, 